Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Everything's gonna be all right. He's coming back. Like he said he would. Who out there listening to that? Anyway, you don't know what that is. Go Google it. Uh, Al Green. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for being here, Aquarius. I hope that everything is going well for you. Uh, this is your daily reading. Uh, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what's going on. What is going on for the Aquarius? I feel like good energy, conjunction, empowerment. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, enhancement, strengthen, join forces, activate, overwhelms, overrides. So um, there's like a conjunction. So there's like um, maybe you and someone else coming together. This could be at work. Somebody's trying to, you know, overturn, override, or maybe there's somebody trying to come towards you, okay? And they want to overturn the decision that maybe you made to leave them out in the cold. All right, let's see what's going on here for the Aquarius. Ascendant, so the outlook, the worldview, the mission statement, the expression. Okay, so what is your ascendant sign? That, um, your, so it goes from sun, rising or ascendant and then moon sign so what is your ascendant sign what what do you project to the world aquarius is it expression is it uh first impressions impact your likeness your approach you know what do people always say about you what is the clear consensus that you give off aquarius and uh, so that's how people see you that's what how you're coming off okay um look at your uh rising signs uh tarot reading also on my channel or the next i don't know but look at your rising sign also i mean you might get some messages there let's see square challenge okay so there could definitely be a challenge a mix-up um a shake-up where you're gonna have to kind of you know um go head to head especially with conjunction and then the ascendant here square a challenge here uh creates tension definitely stalls um pressure frustration uh but it works out and reconciles. Okay, so you have to come to, you have to stand on your square, Aquarius. Don't be moved, all right? If it's no, it's no. If it's yes, it's yes. If it's maybe, I'll call you, okay? And you have to really rest in that energy of being sure about yourself, being sure that you're making the right decision. Um, don't be moved by outside energy again, because it looks like somebody's coming forcefully at you, trying to shake you and move you off your square. This could be at work. This could be in love relationship. This could be in your family. It's like somebody's coming for you, but it, it seems as if you reconcile the situation, the issue. It seems as if you have the gift of gab. You know what to say. You know how to disarm. I heard disarm with a smile. All right. There we go. Yeah, tenth, that's what I'm saying. Tenth house reputation at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this is definitely in your career, your responsibilities, achievement, your competence, your purpose. Okay. The patriarchy, the empire. Some of you are getting fame and notoriety. People are coming at you because of all of these different reasons. But it's like you're going to stand on your square. Um, I don't do drama. Um, I don't do pettiness. And I'm good. And you say and do whatever you want to do. If you come at me with the drama or the pettiness, I'm good. I'm not coming off the throne, off my square, and dealing with peasants. I will not. Um, get somebody to handle that. Somebody handle my lightweight. Um, so it's just more so your reputation. Your your reputation is, uh, it precedes you is what I just heard. People know that you're 
most of you are no nonsense type of energy, especially when it comes to professionalism. And I think that came up too in your career. So it's always going to be that you take the high road, especially in those areas. Now, family, friend, I don't know, maybe you might go play in the mud at times, but even then, um, for some of us, um, you have ascended. Okay. So you have trans, um, Okay, you have transcended, you have passed those petty argumentative uh, characteristic traits. You don't have those within you anymore. It's more about solving the problem, about reconciling. It's not always that you reconcile something and we come back together, but we reconcile the differences. Okay, we go through and, and we um, maybe even come to some type of resolve. So it's more so you meeting petty drama feel energy with that boss type energy as to how can I help you and what can I do for you? That is all. And if you can't answer those questions and I will answer them for you, you're dismissed, but I'm not doing the drama or the pettiness. So somebody is really, um, I don't know if somebody's trying to come for you. It could be a career. Let me know what's going on down in the comment section. If somebody's trying to come for you this week, they did come for you. You know, that it's going to be drama. Maybe you work in a group setting, project management, project, something like that. And you have to really stand on your square here. Uh, let's see, where are we going? Let's go to the Tarot. All right, let's see what's happening here for the Aquarius. All right, so this week somebody's trying to come with it, but little do they know. All right, let's see. Okay, one more shuffle for the Aquarius. You did not get to some high level achievement for you to be rolling in the mud. <laughs> Please. The two of cups is what I'm talking about. Partnership. Um, this talks about, I heard amicable. So maybe you're going to make something amicable or you're going to be uh, the reason, the cause why you come to some um, maybe um, amicable uh, resolve or some type of uh, decision or you you resolve it amicably mm, okay. yeah uh, the will of fortune especially this talks about groups of people it, it could even talk about friends but it also talks about being in different groups of people maybe even changing minds here it talks about the universe uh, lining things up for you to take action destiny fate uh, something is happening at the right time right place some of you are going to be at the right time right place um, we did have fame, fortune, notoriety, and that's what the wheel of fortune brings to you when the fortune, when the wheel starts to turn in your favor here. It's like maybe you've been doing something for a long time and now it's time for you to shine. People are coming at you because you're getting what you deserve. I heard accolades. So you're getting, you're getting your flowers right here, right now while you're on the earth. All right, let's see. Knights of Cups. Somebody's changing their mind or you're changing. So, okay, so this is Cancer. Okay. We've got Pisces and Sagittarius. Um, I'm seeing Aries. Okay. Um, so it's, it's so uh, also Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. So um, somebody wants to come back and change your mind. Again, I think I mentioned that with conjunction. If it's no, it's no. If it's yes, it's yes. If it's maybe, then I'll call you. Um, it's like somebody wants to come in forcefully, maybe even change their mind. They want to make you fall in love with them. They want to be gentleman-like, lady-like. They want to woo you. I mean, can you woo, woo, woo? <laughs> anyway, mind your business. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Cups, this is definitely, I don't know if this is destiny, that now somebody is going to, oh, her lap dog. Oh my God. Okay, so somebody's going to be your lap dog now. Somebody is is really wanting it to work. Uh, desperately is what I'm hearing. Okay. What's going on here? The desperately, the devil card. Um, they're in a place of obsession, maybe even codependency. You, you withdrew your energy and now they have a void that only you Aquarius can feel. Um, that could do something for your ego, but also if you're really done with the situation that you need to release them in love and light so that they're not holding on to you. You definitely are not holding on to them. You don't want anybody codependent stuck obsessed with you you don't want that energy lingering because you know you, you can feel it you know if you have a connection here and it seems as if you do it's just like somebody wants to tempt you it says aquarius with the devil card coming out please 
Do not be easily or willingly deceived with the devil card because the devil card is about choices. No, no one is just walking down the street and then the devil just hops on your back and rides you. And now you're in devil energy. No, you had to choose wrongly. You had to choose temptation. You had to choose what you knew would lead you down that road of entrapment. You chose what was glitter and what, you know, was gold and what was shimmery. And now, you know, that's how you get in that devil energy. It's a choice. Okay. So keep, always keep that in mind so that you can not, um, so that you don't take the responsibility off of you and place it all on other people. You can't call people karmic and devilish and you were with them for 10 years. Yeah. And that's it for another conversation. Anyhow, um, let's see, let's clarify what this devil energy is. This person is in the dark without you. You are their light. Let's see, uh, forcefully coming in, maybe even trying to intellectualize why you should take them back. This is definitely someone from your past. You got the two knights showing up. Uh, when you got more than one night, it could even indicate argument. It doesn't have to be that it's like some big blowout or mashup, but it's definitely an energy of, um, you know, let me be argumentative. If I always say this, if, if they can keep you talking, then they feel like they have you. But when you, when you're not talking, when, when there is silence, you know, in the silence, it, it speaks volumes, so much truth possibly that you don't care but if this person can get you talking if they can get you back if they can get you back on the bandwagon and that's what we just were talking about it's like somebody's coming with the pettiness and the drama and they're gonna be met with the square you're gonna stand on your square and you're gonna meet them with a whole bunch of professionalism like well how can i help you and um if i can't then thank you have a good day um now this could be in love this could be in work it can be in the boat in both uh, it's just like you can be met with some drama. All right. Last uh, cards for Aquarius here. What else do we want to tell Aquarius? It's like somebody's really trying to pull you back in or pull you into the drama with the Knight of Swords here. It's just like they see you separated. They see you leaving. It's the Knight of Swords when, when they know that they've got to do something big or grandiose to pull you back in. What else do we have for Aquarius? We've got the world. I knew it. You're done. You are so done. I mean, like you're... At this point, you're overdone. You're overcooked. It, 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 you can let it go. It's done. You know, it's above you now. That's what they say. Uh, the world. It's just like you're ready for a different chapter, Aquarius. And these people or this person or this situation just can't go with you. And you're so over it with the world card here. Let's see. What else do we have? I know you aren't talking. The high priest is listening to your intuition. You're ready because you can feel that there is um, this energy coming back to you, either trying to stir the pot uh, or stir your emotions back up or get a flare up going with you. It's, 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 if, it's as if, if this person or these people can get some type of reaction out of you then they and it's like an aha moment for them or it's a yeah it's like an aha i got her or i got them you know I still can push buttons but it but the cards are asking you to be like the square um stand on your square uh be professional be closing out a cycle with the 10 the 10th house learn the lesson you could definitely be dealing with the capricorn the lesson is uh, when you're finished, when you're, when you're finished, be finished. Let your yay be your yay, your nay be your nay. Don't go back and forth on this. The high priestess says a decision needs to be made. So we know what a decision is. If you've been here with me on this channel forever, then you know a decision is when you have to go in and make an incision and then you have to cut away. So you have to get rid of something or somebody here, Aquarius, all right? Last card for Aquarius. Keep quiet too. Stay in the background. Uh, the high priest is so much class, wisdom with this uh, woman or a feminine energy. If you're a man, then it says, you know, rest in that energy of femininity of being uh, quiet, uh, dainty or uh, composed here. 
Oh, wow. I said compose. And this is the, this card talks about composure. Maintain your composure. It's like somebody's, re look, quiet composure. That's what that reads. When you dismiss this person, it needs to be quiet. It needs to be well thought out. If you need to write your script tonight, today, do so. Because you're going to have to dismiss something or someone's or whatever. I don't know. But they want you to maintain your composure. It's like somebody's trying to pull, you know, pull your leg. Um, they're trying to get a knee jerk reaction out of you. Uh, they're trying to ignite, uh, you know, ignite um, a fight, reignite the flame within you so that you, you can then, you know, combust um so that you can blow up on them. They don't like this new composure that you have to where you deal with them um, very quietly. Uh, you say what you say and you move on. There's no argument. There's no profane language. There's none of that. They don't like it. Yeah. Tame yourself. Quiet composure. That's really going to let this person know that it's completely over. Because on the other side of this relationship is true happiness. The Ten of Cups, the highest level of happiness. Um, okay, so I'll pull these cards and then we'll be done. I think this was a really phenomenal reading, Aquarius. They about to be met with the the hammer, baby. You have to go. Done. What? Uh, wow, look at that. It's so good that spirit is speaking tonight. Hammer. Let me see if I can get this to focus a little more. Hammer. That's what I'm saying. You have to meet them with the hammer. They want to rebuild, be repetitive, and work on it. They want to interrogate you. And we see that with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, right. You can keep moving. All right, let's see. Um, what is going on for the Aquarius? You might have to sing that Al Green song to him <laughs> to comfort them. Like, look, everything is going to be all right. Uh, he's coming back like he said he would, but um, I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay. I just got it. He, so the, the lyrics, the lyrics of the song go, he's coming back. Like he said he would, you get the high priestess. So it's like, you knew, or you know that someone is, going to resurface in your life and try to rebuild and work on so the, the cards are trying to tell you and spirits trying to tell you they're coming back like they said they would or like you know they would um but you need to tell them everything's going to be all right they need to go on their merry way let's see what's going on here for the aquarius wedding rings okay union wedding uh wedding marry soul connection eternal love everlasting promise and maybe that's what you get very nice you get a soulmate honey um you get a soulmate you get a, uh, wedding bells wedding rings ten of cups once you dismiss okay let's see what's going on here for aquarius okay these two wanted to come out you have the phoenix a new phase renew transformation your changed mind and we saw that with the wheel of fortune growth done with this stuff camera this person is reminiscing uh, and it's also about you learning from the past and just make new memories here it's about just you know uh, let this person know we had what we had it's done you know we just gotta really close this out and this person could be reminiscing right now it is retrograde so it's like maybe that's why this person is coming back um, do keep in mind of, about starting things around the retrograde period. It might not last. Last card for the Aquarius. That's what I'm talking about. So they want to meet up and converse and savor the moment and feel uplifted and just be your friend. Yeah, right. Um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Let's see. Just because you guys are just wonderful. I pull some of these cards. Okay, so what do you want to tell Aquarius moving forward? The closing energy for Aquarius. Closing energy for my Aquarius collective. Guys, you can get your own personal reading at the website level. Phone readings or Zoom readings are the best. You get to see the cards. We have a conversation. It's wonderful. Um, take advantage of phone or Zoom readings. Um, get your 
discount code at the community tab and then head over to my website and book your reading all right um so yeah somebody feels like this is unfair how you're treating them okay um you're putting them in the friend zone maybe um or just really cutting it off altogether yeah somebody feels like they're not like they're not getting what they're deserving of and you may be saying, look, you haven't healed yet. Or some of you are dating and you haven't healed yet. You need to take a, a break. You know, scientifically, they say it takes about eight months to get over or to get a particular situation, person, place, or thing out of your system. And that's eight months cold turkey. So it's not eight months where, okay, for you go through one month and then the next month you text the person and you guys are text messaging. No, it's eight months cold turkey. You don't talk, you don't see, you don't look on social media, you don't do this, you don't do anything. So it takes about that long to get something, anything out of your system, especially a relationship, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? Somebody straight up stalking you now. We did see that devil card showing up. It's just like they just can't live without your energy. I think you were the only genuine person that was in their life. I know it. they're straight up studying you. They just want to come back. They feel like you're being irrational. It's funny that I just mentioned texting and then texting came out. It's like if they could just text you because only you can make them happy. <laughs> and you're smart. You're funny. They just want to be your friend. They don't like the fact that you are, you're giving nothing now because El Cheapo is coming out in the reverse. If it was upright, it would be that you would be giving them very little but it's in the reverse, so you're giving nothing. And we saw that high priestess. She doesn't do anything. You come to her. Um, March could have been significant in terms of this relationship. Maybe, you know, that was a turning point, like you were just doing. Engagement ring coming out again. I don't know if this person is going to try to come back and lay it on thick with, you know, a ring. Or the cards are telling you, look, if you can just get out of this if you can just pull yourself out of this by really shutting this person down you can get the happy life the wedding ring on um, the engagement ring that you're looking for um i don't think that this person can give you that well hold on it's coming in reverse it says it just costs too much maybe they're not going to say that anymore maybe they thought maybe getting married cost them too much cost them too much maybe money or their freedom their time they didn't look at marriage um in a, in a good way i don't know guys but it's like you know that this person is coming back use your discernment don't say yes um don't say no if you don't feel like you it's a no if it's a maybe it's a maybe all right is somebody's really trying to save this marriage or this relationship here yeah fear of missing out on you aquarius they know somebody else is going to come to you um they feel like you know they may they want to make promises to you the side chick forever in the reverse it's like maybe they want you they want to tell you that they they've come out of that energy they were putting others before the relationship i think hmm, definitely missing you this person had a lot of like friends with benefits or at least one and they're playing all addicted to your energy. I'm going to see what this person really has to offer you. If they're really uh, ready for a connection. Some of you is going to be yes. Some of you is going to be no. Um, we're going to go. We're going to do an extended. I haven't done an extended in a while. But we're going to do an extended reading here. And see what this person really wants to say to you. And has there been real uh, true change heartfelt change with this person um get the extended reading especially if you can't or you don't want to get a personal reading right now you can always get the extended reading it's under five bucks uh take care many blessings to you i'm live every tuesday thursday and sunday night all links are at the bottom excuse me are in the description box um what else do we have uh, i think those are all of the announcements uh, go over to the website, book your reading there. If this resonated with you, you want to know what's going on in your situation, you want clarity, get your own personal reading. Um, get the extended reading. Maybe that will help you. Maybe you'll get the extended and then you'll say, you know, I don't get my own personal reading. So anyhow, take advantage as you see fit. Many blessings to you. Bye for now.